Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Yeah, welcome back to the flight simulator and today we've got a very interesting plane in front of us again, of course. That is the good old Airbus Beluga. One of the generally most interesting planes that there are. are I mean, come on, look at this. Yeah, this is a very new add-on that was released like last week. It's uh, very interesting and um, we flew it around a little bit. But today, let's do some extreme testing with this plane indeed. Now, as you can see right now, this cargo plane is being loaded right now. So as you can tell, this has a huge cargo area space that we can, for example, <laughs> as you can see, put an A320 fuselage in or something. Yep, yeah, Airbus built this plane basically to transport jet parts just like this one. Mostly airplane parts, really. For example, you can also put like A380 tails in it and okay, that kind of stuff. Which is, again, because this plane has such a huge cargo space. But let's go ahead and focus more on weight today because that is actually this plane's weakness pretty much. Yeah, what this plane cannot do is carry a huge amount of weight. Um, you know, an A320 fuselage can work. I mean, this is an airplane parts and airplane parts are also built to be as lightweight as possible. So that uh, isn't a problem. But really, today, let's maybe play around with weight. Yeah, but let's just uh, first of all, wait for this Airbus fuselage to load in. I mean, we actually have quite a good data of what's going on right now. This Airbus fuselage that we're loading right now is only nine tons, which is really not too much for an aircraft. Yeah, here we have some data. The thing is, the maximum takeoff weight of this aircraft is only 153 tons, which is just twice as much as, for example, this Airbus that we're loading in right now could hold, right? I mean, here we have some other planes, for example, the Antonov Anton 125, the biggest plane on this planet, right, can carry 640 tons. Just to give you guys some perspective, the Airbus Beluga is only uh, around here at the 707. I mean, even the Concorde can hold more weight than the Beluga. Yes, indeed, not a particularly heavy plane. But again, the strength, of course, is um, the actual volume that this thing can hold. Let's go ahead and now load in this uh, Airbus thing properly. Load. There we go. Right now, Airbus has been loaded. Let's go ahead and remove that loader and start the plane by pressing this button here. This is totally how it works in real life. <laughs> plane starts up itself. Perfect. All right, now a takeoff, full power. Plane is very much complaining because the main cargo door isn't closed yet, but you know, but our Airbus in our Airbus needs some fresh air, I think, so this is fine. Wait, did we just really take off <laughs> with the door open? That's so stupid. I don't know. But yeah, of course, the Beluga can perfectly find transport a plane like the A320 fuse large because that is only like 10 tons which is like not too bad but let's maybe get to the limits of this plane for example we can also load some heavier stuff in there like uh, a space station <laughs> yeah but maybe we can make this even heavier huh okay now here we can manage the cargo weight manually so we can for example load in 47 tons of cargo which is actually bringing the plane already to the 154 tons limit but this is fine let's just go ahead and see how that works now okay plane is quite a bit heavier right now let's see uh, how, how it flies, huh? Let's see now. We're at a 1,200 meter long runway. Flying this plane with this kind of weight that we're flying it at, it probably needs a longer runway than that, but we'll just see. See, we found out, though, in a video previously that the uh, performance of this plane when it comes to runways isn't too bad, though, so maybe we'll have luck. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. That's gone severely wrong right there. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're already failing here. <laughs> yeah. Well, this plane is incredibly heavy. Even 150 tons shouldn't be that much of an issue. Holy moly. All right, then we'll probably need a longer runway, huh? Okay. Now, welcome to uh, the Palma de Mallorca Airport. You know that good old airport that doesn't allow the 747 on one of its taxiways? No B747, poor 747. Yeah. Let's see if we can take off with a maximum takeoff weight. I mean, we can see right here in the weight and balance menu. We have no red here. We're technically below the maximum weight. Actually, by like 200 kilos so this should not be an issue at all huh all right 140 knots let's take off which we are doing that is great right ah we literally just used the whole runway there oh my goodness this plane is way too overload but as the russians already say we pay whole runway we use whole runway and we did use pretty much whole runway indeed that was not particularly smart we can try landing this plane again uh, which is i guess a little bit of a problem for the landing gear because obviously the maximum landing weight differs it's of course a lot lower just to protect the landing gear and the fuselage from the impact because that can be a little tough. Let's see how the landing gear is going to handle this uh, landing right here. We're way too heavy. Alright. Okay, looking good. Alright, a hard landing right there. Holy moly. I kind of feel bad for this plane now, but I think uh, landing gear is still alive. Well, let's maybe stop as well. See if that's possible. Because again, we're extremely heavy. 
Alright, there we go. Now that's gone pretty well, huh? No, uh, no worries. Even though, yeah, again, we did use the whole runway. I mean, we paid for it. It doesn't mean it matters. <laughs> but what we can already tell is that, indeed, this plane does not, you know, handle a lot of heavy cargo, huh? So maybe let's uh, get this plane even heavier. Let's just, you know, stand on this runway right here. Uh, maybe get this plane heavier than the maximum takeout weight. How, how about we make this plane heavier by, like, 50 tons? Which is, like, not too much, right? There we go. 200 kilos. I mean, we have to consider again. That is uh, what the 760 seven can load you know it's just crazy to think about that this maybe is a little bit of a weak plane after all but we can already tell though is that the landing gear is genuinely starting to struggle here it's actually sinking into the ground here at least in the flight simulator um so this will be an interesting one yeah it turns out that airbus beluga isn't that much of a chat is it all right let's take off now see if that's gonna be possible all right, we're now running out full power. Let's release the parking brake, and we're going. Come on. I can already tell this is not going to work. See, you know, this is not a very powerful plane. This is just uh, some two engines. Uh, after all, this is a converted A300. A plane that isn't necessarily big. Actually, the Beluga isn't super big, right? Like, the fuselage is big, but, like, you know, the, the wings, for example, isn't isn't big. Not a lifter plane for sure. Let's see if we can take off though. All right, we're now at 120 knots. Let's go ahead and put out the flaps actually to the full. We need the full flaps performance. Oh my goodness. All right, we're now running at 160 knots. We can hear some rambling in the landing gear. Probably isn't too happy. Let's go ahead and take off. Come on. You can do it. Beluga, come on. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, well, that was a slight overrun. That was definitely uh, paying the whole runway and using it <laughs> as well. Oh, wow. But we've taken off. That's gone well, huh? Yeah, I mean, we have to consider this is not a short runway right here. This is a 10,000 feet long runway. But to make this plane even heavier, we have to go somewhere else. And um, I know exactly where we can go. All right, we'll come to Edwards Air Force Base. Get the good old airport that the space shuttle, for example, used to land at as well. All right, let's go ahead now. Let's see how heavy we can make this plane now. Uh, let's go ahead and load the actual maximum takeoff weight of this aircraft. So what we're basically doing right now, we're loading somewhat of like a Concorde into this plane. Just to give you guys a little bit of an example of what we're actually doing here. Now we're simulating that there's a Concorde loaded into the aircraft. So full power already. Let's go and release the parking brakes. The main landing gear is slowly starting to give up on life. Let's see if the engines are going to give up on life as well. I'm guessing we'll need like 170 knots to properly take off and get off the ground. Um, we're on our way to that. 100 knots is already on our clock. This is now a race against the runway, basically. All right, 180 knots. Let's go ahead and fully flaps out the plane. There we go. And uh, let's come on. Let's pull up. You can do it. All right, nose is already up. Nose is up. We have, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no, this is not particularly working, huh? Come on, you can do it, plane. We're at 200 knots, all right? I think we have officially left the ground right there. Perfect. So the plane can take off with, sorry, for example, Concorde in there. Basically, also, we're kind of loading a fully loaded Airbus Beluga into our Beluga. It's, it's, it's weird. Great uh, simulation as always, but this is actually flying somewhat. Not too bad. Let's maybe come in for a landing, right? The plane is heavily complaining right now, but this is, uh, we need to do this right now. Come on. Let's put the landing gear down. I can already tell you this landing gear is not going to survive this one, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, landing gear isn't down yet. Landing gear is not down yet. Come on. Just stay in the air for a few more seconds. All right, now we can touch down, I think. Great. Holy moly. All right, come on. Onto that runway. See, this is perfectly flying here with a Concorde inside. Now take, come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, plane. Let's maybe try to stop now as well. Look at that wing flex, by the way. This plane is completely dying. All right, completely giving up on life. Let me see how quick we can stop. And I think our tires have completely blown now. It's <laughs> completely dead. Oh, wow, look at that nose landing gear. Totally broken. But as you can see, we have uh, stopped this plane. That's great. All right, then let's maybe even continue to fly this plane, right? We can uh, try to fully load this plane, huh? I mean, what is possible here? I mean, we can make this a lot more heavier. Now, 300,000 kilos, which is still, again, nothing to compared to other planes. This thing is kind of a weakling here. 640 tons is no problem for the Antonov. But we also kind of have to consider, for example, we don't have half the engines either, right? So let's just see. Okay, come on. Look at that landing gear right here. All right, come on. 140, 160, 180, 200. Still doing strong, but the end of the runway is actually coming near. Come on. 210, let's go and put out all the flaps. Give me everything you got. Come on, you can do it. 220, and we have left the runway, which is not good. Let's maybe try getting this plane off into the air. This is not going to work otherwise. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You, you yes! It's working! Well, yeah, turns out you only need, like, a long enough runway for this plane to properly take off, right? Because maybe, as always, come back in for landing as well. Let's see how that's gonna work out. Yeah, great operation so far, huh? Okay, wait. No, 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 no. We're falling like a stone. We're falling like a stone. We're falling like a stone. Come on! 
All right, hard landing coming in. Ooh. <laughs> All right, plane's definitely crashed now. The plane is a weakling, what can we say? But again, it was not really made for heavy cargo anyway, especially aircraft parts that are light anyway. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now coming down. Now thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby Cook of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley, Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kelamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.